Hello, I'm Nathan, and I'm back again to introduce our concert in the Kunstmuseum Luzern, where they have just begun a Vivian Suter retrospective exhibit. Throughout the Forward Festival, we are exploring themes of nature and the surrounding environment. Many of the works being presented are directly dealing with and responding to nature. We're very lucky that Vivian Suter is the artist being presented in the Kunstmuseum this year because her art fits perfectly with our festival's theme. She's currently living and working in Guatemala, and her works are created by interaction with the environment. In 2005, a hurricane sent a mudslide covering everything she had created. She says about the event, At the time, I saw it as just a catastrophe. But as they started drying, the colors began to come out, and I realized that I had to start working with nature and not against it. As musicians, we will respond to her art through improvisation. We'll take her works and interpret them as concretely as graphic scores, or even as abstractly as just the feeling that you get when you observe the work. It's difficult to say exactly what will happen because it is, after all, improvisation. So no matter how much planning goes into the performance, anything could happen in the moment. We'll also be experimenting with field recordings of the city of Lucerne as inspiration for some of our improvisations. So we will have Suter's works affected by the environment and at the same time, our improvisations inspired by the environment. During the concert, the audience is welcome to move around the space and experience the hanging works and sounds accompanying them from any perspective. I find that with this type of performance, as a listener, it's really important to come with an open mind and remember that in improvisation, the musicians are pretty much making the music moment to moment. And it can be very helpful to also listen that way. I even like to almost meditate and let the sounds come and go without judgment, sort of let them wash over me. There's a good chance that if you don't love what you're hearing, it will probably change soon anyway. The ensemble is quite an interesting one. We have clarinet, viola, cello, bass, trombone, and tuba. So it's a really low group, and I'm excited to see what kind of music we're able to create together. I don't know anything written for this instrumentation, so it will definitely be an adventure.